Well, this is a case study of uh, 60 years old female with a history of severe dyspnea. And uh, what we are seeing is the liver. And the liver shows uh, diffuse, decreased pancreas molecogenicity. This is the right uh, hepatic vein which appears to be dilated. And uh, this is the fluid surrounding the outer surface of the liver. Now the liver is otherwise not that bad. The lipogenicity uh, of the liver is those like is decreased a bit, but not significantly. This is the left group of the liver in front of you. In longitudinal section, this is the transfer section. The uh, minor, the portal vein, very portal echoes are very prominent, and that is a usual finding in cases of diffuse decrease per primal echogenicity. You can see that how bright the very portal echoes are. Uh, the liver is not cirrhotic or uh, rather it's either congestive or uh, because of decrease. The parenchymal liquidity that is seen decreased can be infective or congestive. Well, now, now you see that there is pleural effusion as well on the right side. Here we see this is the fluid about the diaphragm. This is the diaphragm. This is the liver, and this is the this part is of the fluid is the one that is surrounding the outer surface of the liver. Outer surface of the liver is smooth and uh, we see fluid in the right pleural space. So this is, there is uh, right pleural refugia. This is the kidney, and the kidney is normal because it's not because of cardiac pathology or uh, if it is cardiac refugia, but I will uh, expect is that the fusion uh, will, uh, pericardial fusion will be bilateral. But in this case, the fusion is not bilateral. Now you see this is the, the left hemidiaphragm, this is the spleen, this is the left kidney. It's not of renal region at, all, at least, it's not of cirrhotic uh, region. Nothing to do with the liver pathology, no intrinsic liver pathology, and we do see no cariotic gland adenopathy is seen. There is small amount of is seen in the dependent period, peritoneal cavity. But mainly the pathologies are seen in this region. That is, see that the liver is normal. Here we are seeing the pleural effusion or fluid in the right pleural space. This is the right pleural space and you can see the fluid in this part. This is the liver, kidney. Now here the parenchyma of the kidney appears more brighter compared to that of the uh, liver parenchyma. It's not because that the kidney is decreased, it's because the liver parenchyma, uh, the echogenicity of the liver parenchyma has gone down and whenever the uh, echogenicity of the liver will be, go down because of uh, congestive liver or infective liver, well, the parenchyma of the kidney will appear bright and the kidney is normal, otherwise one may label that uh, the kidney is abnormal. There is some pathology relating to the kidney. No, it is not so. Now here we see the transfer section of the kidney and now you see there is fluid, a cytic fluid surrounding the outer surface of the liver all over here. It is. Now this is all fluid surrounding the outer surface of the liver. Raised peripotal echoes. 
they were a seen below post margin this very early and high and uh, there is no other pathology seen however now you see now the spleen is being surrounded by a cytic tube see this is the spleen this is the spleen and this is all a cytic tube being uh, that is surrounding the uh, spleen so this is a case of uh, right pleural effusion with the site. Thank you very much.